All right, so let's look at the week 10 power rankings and how I have teams placed. Obviously, it's pretty subjective, particularly towards the bottom of the list. They're not really going to be, really for most of the list, I should say, because I kind of go through this pretty quickly, but it's just kind of off vibes. Uh, there's some teams I know more about than others. Some teams I pay attention to more so than others, but I at least know generally where teams are going directional-wise uh, in kind of a general sense. I moved the Saints all the way down to the bottom because they lost to the Panthers. I don't think it really gets much worse than that. They fired their head coach. They lost to the worst team in the NFL. Um, it, it's a uh, rock bottom for them. So they can only get better, which is a positive thing. I don't think the Saints will finish the year at the bottom of the power rankings. But uh, when you lose to the worst team, you fire your head coach. It can't really get much worse than that. The Panthers, they kind of just move up because they managed to win. And it's hard to punish a team and keep them at the bottom when they do manage to win. Um, so they barely move up past that bottom slot. Then we got the Patriots uh, below the Titans. The Titans just beat them. So we're just, you know, we're fighting with JV teams down here. Um, but not a lot of good things to be pointing out with them. But uh, just a little bit of flip-flopping around with them. Got the Raiders and Cowboys next. They're both pretty terrible. I don't even know if the Raiders won last week. They're just a bad franchise. They fired a bunch of their coordinators. So things are just not going well for them. You could easily move them even further down because I think that they are just, they should be tanking if they're not. Uh, Cowboys in a similar fashion. You know, Jerry, Jerry Jones is all in, but they are just a terrible team this year. Uh, Dak is now injured for a couple of weeks, which I, I just uh, read um, earlier today. So really, you could probably move them down a little bit more. But you never know with Cooper Rush in there, he might actually play better. But at the same time, there's just not a lot of talent on that team. So they're definitely in the bottom uh, tier of teams. I would say even below the Giants, even though the Giants just lost and the Jaguars, I think even below them, I think that's a pretty fair spot for the Cowboys with just how poorly they've been playing. But the Jets, I moved up several slots uh, because they managed to win. I still, them have, I still have them below the, the Colts. Uh, Bears and Browns for the simple fact that like I think it would be a close game But I think after next week the Jets will probably win again or at least have a good chance of winning And if they do manage to win I do see them moving up uh, closer to the top 20 uh, because I think they'll kind of figure it out I don't think they're a Super Bowl contender or like a really deep playoff team But I certainly think that they are better than the Colts Bears and Browns or at least they will be by the end of the year uh, based on just the talent of the teams. The Bears have the potential uh, to do a little bit more, but I think with their head coach um, losing them a game against the uh, Commanders and just being a terrible head coach, I think that's really the biggest limiting thing. It's not even them having a rookie quarterback. Uh, the Colts are just rough right now with Joe Flacco, anyone at the helm right now. It's just kind of a, a mid-team, but they could go on a run. I just don't really believe in them right now, but they're certainly, I think them and the Jets are probably the most... Uh, likely candidates to kind of jump up a couple slots but they just kind of have to get lucky and win some games i think the bears are just going to continue to, to lose uh, or at least play below average football um, and all of this a lot of that is because of the rookie quarterback but hopefully um, they figure out their coaching situation because that is a terrible thing um, i don't even know if i move the browns down or move them around i can kind of put them wherever if james winston throws three picks they're going to lose to every team in the nfl um, it seems like the chargers have a fantastic defense uh, which is not good when your quarterback really likes throwing the ball to the other team. So it's kind of like, I could probably put the Browns below the Jets even and move them down a little bit. So it's kind of hard um, when you kind of get into these 20s where teams should be uh, quite exactly, but I certainly wouldn't uh, be against someone putting them a lot lower than where they are. I think kind of these four teams, like the Jaguars are a step below, but I think these four teams, like they have issues, they have different problems. And they can kind of just be mix and match. And if they all played each other, they would all you know, win and lose um, if they've all played twice for the most part. Maybe the Browns, James Winston's throwing 25 interceptions like he is on pace for seemingly with this three interception game. Uh, maybe not so. But I have the Dolphins slightly above them as well as the Broncos. I dropped the Broncos down a bit uh, because they just got shellacked by, um, who was it? The... They just got beat terribly by someone. I think maybe Minnesota. I don't even know. I forget. They lost really bad. Oh, to the Ravens. Um, that's who it was. All right. Sorry about that. Kind of scrolled up a little bit too fast. I forgot who they played. Move the Broncos down. Um, they're certainly a team that's above the cut of the teams right below them. But they kind of have to play more consistent against a better quality team for them really to be approaching that top 15 um, like they were before. Uh, losing that 
handily to a team that even the Browns managed to beat. Not a good sign. Not that they would be necessarily expected to beat a team like the Ravens, but when you lose by 31 points, it just shows that you were dominated in every facet um, of the game. Uh, the Buccaneers, I really should put at 32 because they decided not to go for two against the Chiefs because they're cowards, uh, which is unfortunate because they had an opportunity to try to win the game from the Chiefs, but they decided to put their fate into uh, a coin, which is uh, never good to do. Never good to give a 50-50 shot whether you win or lose a game because you want to uh, play conservative and play safe. Should have went for two. Um, that's uh, you kind of saw the writing on the wall as soon as they did the coin flip that Mahomes is just going to run down and score a touchdown. Um, it's not really difficult for them. They're the Chiefs are a really good team, and you have a, t a chance to beat them and upset a good team like that. You kind of have to take it, and I don't think anyone would have blamed them if they had gone for two at the end of that game. The Seahawks just lost, so I moved them down a little bit. Um, could have even moved them below the Tampa Bay team because of the fact that they uh, kept it close with the Chiefs. But, uh, you know, when you don't go for two, when you play like a coward, you don't get a move up in the power rankings. That's just that's just how it is. We got the Rams over here. I believe they just won two. I, I kind of forget, but they're kind of in a similar vein as the, the Bengals right now. I don't think that's too unrealistic for them. Chargers, I moved up several spots. Uh, I know it's the Browns and I'm a Browns fan, but uh, they played really well and their defense looks really good. And even though the Browns are a pretty bad team, they just played a complete game and I don't know if they're going to continue to play really good games, but uh, they certainly are uh, doing a good job and their defense is really good. So it's a, it's a team I wouldn't want to play if I was one of these top tier teams. I think that the Chargers will play um, a lot of teams really well. I just don't think that they are in that top echelon of teams just quite yet. Uh, the Texans just lost, so I moved them down. I actually moved the 49ers down a little bit. That's just mostly because I moved other teams up. I know they're on a bye, so it's hard to really punish them too much. But um, the Cardinals played well. Green Bay, I dropped a lot. Um, they didn't look good against the Lions. And, um, you know, I think they're still a good team, but I think I just had them a bit too high at that point, especially with how the uh, Lions kind of gave them a good... Gold beat down. Uh, the Minnesota just won, so I moved them back up. The Cardinals are an interesting team. I don't think they'll kind of. I think they'll eventually fall off a little bit. I definitely could see uh, like these three teams or four teams move up above them and them kind of fall off. But it wouldn't surprise me if they kind of hung around this point and had a chance to make the playoffs. Uh, we move up here. The Eagles won. I think. Who knows? I have them up here at eight. Seems like a pretty decent spot for them. Commanders won again. I still have them at seven, just below the Steelers. And the Steelers, I moved down at least one spot because I wanted to move the Falcons and the Ravens up. The Ravens dominated, dominated a team with a good defense. Uh, you know, say what you want about Bo Nix, but the uh, defense for the Broncos is good. And the Falcons won again, I think. If I'm wrong, then I have them up too high, I suppose. But Kirk Cousins seems to have it figured out. They're in what is uh, beginning to show a really weak division. They beat Tampa Bay twice. Um, the other teams in the division, the Saints and the Panthers, are really bad. Um, so they should have a pretty easy time uh, winning even more games against them. Potentially, I don't know how many times, uh, more times they played them. The Ravens, I moved up a couple spots just because they dominated so much. Kind of, uh, I think the Browns game is was probably a wake-up call for them. The Broncos game isn't altogether surprising because I think what the Ravens kind of went in was assuming the Browns were just going to lay down and lose like they have been doing most of the year. So not a terrible assumption, but James came out, got really lucky, and played overall. The whole team played really well, but the Browns losing again, their season's really done. So we're trying to get a top, top uh, overall pick, and hopefully we just keep losing games. But with the Ravens, they had that wake-up call against the Browns, which honestly might make them better for the rest of the year. So uh, you're welcome, Ravens, for showing you that you should beat bad teams. And the Broncos just caught the brunt of that, just that destruction that they wanted to lay down. Uh, the Bills have got up here. I believe they just beat the Dolphins, and it was a close game. The Dolphins are definitely a lot better with Tua. Um, you just got to hope that Tua doesn't dive into people's legs and, and concuss himself. But the Bills, I still got up here. It's hard to really punish a team for winning, even if, though it's a close game. Uh, the Chiefs, uh, thankfully, played a really cowardly team of the Buccaneers and uh, had no chance of winning as I dropped my my uh, headphones over there. Sorry for that loud noise. But, uh, yeah, Chiefs, I don't want to say they got lucky because they certainly played well and deserved that win. But you just wish teams that would play them wouldn't play them like cowards because that's not how you beat good teams, um, which is why I think if uh, the Lions got to that stage, they would have gone for two. 
Um, so be an exciting team. But the Lions, uh, they dominated the, the Packers for the most part. They still look really good. Uh, they just traded for Zadarius Smith from the Browns, which is a, a sneaky good trade for them. Because uh, Zadarius Smith is a solid player and it doesn't necessarily fill in the Aiden Hutchinson uh, slot that's been left uh, empty with his leg in several different places that bent in several ways that it shouldn't have. But uh, thankfully, I did not see that video in full. It just looked like his leg was getting hit and I did not look at it in slow motion or anything like that. Injuries like that gross me out. But whew reading about what happened after sounds absolutely devastating and brutal uh very gross but thankfully i did not have to witness that but the lions i still have at the top they keep winning uh even though they have a loss in the year i still view them as like just a dominant team they're beating teams a lot more handily than the chiefs are and i think you could still argue with the chiefs above the lions but frankly i like the lions more than the chiefs i feel like the lions are just a better overall team and if they were playing on a neutral site i still think the lions would win even though you know the chiefs have that history i think the lions are just they're hungrier they're gonna bite your kneecaps and various things so they're the team i'm rooting for honestly um now that the browns are you know in the dumps and they're just waiting for next year to get a pick and maybe find a quarterback or something uh, the Lions are a team that I hope went out and win the win the Super Bowl. When, there's several other teams I wouldn't necessarily mind, like the the Commanders or look just looking at the top ten. Really, anyone besides the Steelers and Ravens, I wouldn't really care if they won. Um, obviously, not the Chiefs. So, hopefully, no Chiefs, Ravens, or Steelers. Other than that, I don't have a big horse in the race, but I do think that the Lions are still the best team in the NFL, at least uh, as far as power rankings go. But that's it for this one. So. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed and uh, I'll continue to do these uh, each week because they are uh, I kind of enjoy them It kind of gets me to you know think a little bit about the NFL and, and teams I don't typically uh, spend too much time thinking about and uh, They're kind of fun, but still got the lines up there at number one So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I hope you all have a good day. Peace